Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seam Lund, and in this video, we're going to talk about this new anti aging NMN molecule that is supposed to be like a super NAD booster, much more effective than regular NAD boosters. Uh, that's what it's claimed to be. And uh, we're going to look at this new study actually that came out using this uh, molecule and uh, showing that it does raise NAD levels in humans as well. Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. So the study is actually pretty new, published 19 February 2022, MIB626, an oral formulation of a microcrystalline unique polymorph of beta nicotinamide mononucleotide or NMN increases circulating nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide or NAD and its metabolome in middle aged and older, ad older adults. <laughs> so uh, this is a study done by actually the Metrobiotech that uh, David Sinclair is an advisor in and uh, that basically this is one of their first uses of this MIB626 uh, molecule in humans uh, that is uh, like, a, yeah, like a different form of NMN and it's supposed to be like a, called like a super NAD boosters. Uh, in this study they took 32 overweight or obese adults between the uh, ages of 55 to 80 years old and they randomized them into um, groups one group took 1,000 milligrams of this MIB626 once a day. The other group did 1,000 milligrams two times a day or 2,000 milligrams a day. And the other one was placebo for 14 days. And they found that uh, the group that took the MIB626 saw an elevation in their NAD levels. And the group that did this, uh, the 1,000 milligrams once a day found 1.7 times increase. And the group that did two times a day or two times or two thousand milligrams a day so 3.7 times increase above baseline of their NAD levels and the group that was placebo they didn't saw an increase in the NAD levels and uh, the conclusion that you know they came for that is that MAB 6 to 6 uh, once or twice a day is associated with substantial dose rate increase in blood NAD levels and its metabolome and we'll look at the basically the study as well the graphs from there so you can see NAD levels placebo no difference once a day, 1000 milligrams, some elevation 1.7 times or how much was it? Uh, 1.7, yes. And uh, the 1000 milligrams twice a day, 3.7 times the difference between uh, the beginning and the end after 14 days. Great success. So this MIB626 uh, is um, actually something that Davis and Claire is working on. It's the Metrobiotech company that he um, is working with. And uh, actually we'll just play a clip from Joe Rogan podcast where he talks about it and what it, you know, essentially is. The company is called Metro Biotech and uh, it makes super NAD boosters. And the drug is called, the developmental drug is MIB-626. Well, it, it often comes as a shock um, to people who don't work on this, that we're already testing these molecules in clinical trials on elderly people. Uh, we've been doing that for a number of years now uh, with some positive results. We hope to get on the market in about uh, three years from now for, for diseases, FDA approved. But we're also going to be testing later uh, energy. Uh, we can measure actually the NAD levels, that molecule I just mentioned. Um, we can measure that in their muscles and we'll test if that worked. Um, and we'll, we'll measure, of course, their endurance. Because the mice that we treated with NMN, uh, they just ran and ran and ran. They actually broke the little treadmill in my lab because they ran so far. So, uh, yeah, basically Sinclair, obviously he has more access, access to a lot more knowledge about this MIB626 and uh, how effective it is, let's say in rodents or something. He mentioned that, you know, this MIB626 make makes the mice run so fast that they break the treadmill, <laughs> which is, you know, sounds interesting. I'm not sure, you know, what it means. Um, um, but there's, yeah, like there's no real, let's say, public, this is kind of the first uh, released human trial of this MIB626. There are previous ones as well that have been found for like, you know, some aspects of uh, heart health, uh, but they haven't been concluded or they haven't finished or they haven't released yet either. Uh, but this study at least found that, you know, it's relatively safe and it works in humans. Uh, funny enough, uh, a few months ago, maybe a half a year ago, I also made a video about this basically U.S. Special Operations Commando using this uh, same NMN, uh, the MIB-626, and the Sinclair is also involved with that, with the Metrobiotech, and uh, I did talk about, you know, it could have, like, some therapeutic potential for increasing the soldier's, um, like, stress resilience, recovery, sleep quality, energy levels, and those kind of things, and just postponing all these age-related diseases that uh, special operations forces may be susceptible to more than, let's say, the average person. And I do think that it can be 
of course, can be useful for those kinds of populations that are under accelerated, quote unquote, aging. But like I said, like, you know, we don't know anything else about this MIB 626. What we do know is that it's just NMN. It's a different kind of NMN. And I think, you know, the probably the main reason why, I mean, this Metrobiotech is working on these different kinds of NAD boosters is that so, so they can patent it. So they make a new NAD booster that is a form of NMN that they can patent, then that they can like essentially, you know, get more money out of. Um, because currently regular NMN has also been found to be already working. Like there's many, quite a few uh, human studies find that NMN, regular NMN works in humans. Like this study found that even like 250 milligrams per day to aged men for six to 12 weeks uh, was able to basically raise NAD levels uh, in uh, humans. And another one found that the similar dose, uh, 250 milligrams, improved already insulin sensitivity in pre-diabetic women, uh, elderly women. So we already have like NMN that is working, um, but this we don't obviously we don't have like any comparison between which one is more effective, uh, the MIB six to six or NMN. Uh, what we do know at least from this study is that there is a dose dependent increase in the elevation of NAD when you take this MIB six to six. That the more you take it, up at least at least two grams is better than one grams in raising NAD levels. But even then, we don't know like how much NAD you need. <laughs> we don't know that. And funny enough, this uh, this particular study claimed that um, in previous uh, studies that they've used in Metro Biotech on MIB 626, they found that doses like 250 and 500 and 750 wasn't enough to raise NAD levels, whereas like 1000 was the minimal effective threshold for raising NAD levels with MIB 626, which is funny because you know you can already use 250 milligrams of NMN which is a much smaller dose and already see an increase in NAD levels. So I don't know like why would you want to be using this MIB 6 to 6, uh, 1000 milligrams when you can already see a minimal effective dose with 250 milligrams of NMN that is already available, that has already quite a few NA, like clinical trials and etc. Like of course, maybe I don't know the full answer. Maybe there is some unique uh, human like animal studies that find that MIB 6 to 6 has like some unique effects that we don't know of yet. Maybe Sinclair knows something. Uh, he probably does know something. Wait a minute. That's it for this video. If you want to check out all the other supplements that I'm taking, then uh, you head over to sieblan.com forward slash supplements and you can get my full PDF list of all the supplements I'm taking when and in uh, what doses. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.